Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox Breaking News. I have literally posted a video saying that there were calls for Peter Murrell's resignation. He was told to resign by the end of today or he would face a vote of no confidence. And it was literally seconds, seconds after posting that, that the news came through uh, that he had resigned. I've got a newspaper article here. Um, at the time of recording, it is now 12.23, and you can see this news report is dated 12.19. So we're going to cut straight to it, uh, and we'll do the story straight in. So here goes. Right, straight in. It's, this one's from The Guardian. Um, SNP Chief Executive Peter Murrell resigns with immediate effect. He has gone. Thank heavens for that. He did finally see the, uh, the writing on the wall, uh, and he knows the jig's up. And he cannot continue. And so that's the pair of them gone. Thank heavens for that. Scotland can start immediately to heal the last vestiges of those toxic... That, well, that toxic couple uh, have gone now from politics. Uh, neither of them um, no longer wield power. Uh, and they can disappear into oblivion or a jail cell. I don't think anyone minds which. It is a joyous day. Murrell is the husband of the outgoing Scottish National Party leader and is the first uh, and first minister Nicola Sturgeon. Uh, and he's a look at him, smug face. That's a man who's had a lot of Greggs, isn't it? I uh, don't know what he's had a lot of Greggs off, but I'm pretty sure Greg was quite happy about it. Uh, anyway, Peter Murrell, the Scottish National Party's chief executive and Nicola Sturgeon's husband, has resigned with immediate effect. Thank, uh, this is down to the, uh, as I put in my literally previous video, uh, the NEC saying they had the votes and the numbers necessary. And if he didn't go, they'd call a vote of no confidence. Um, uh, reporters suggested Murrell had been threatened with a vote of no confidence and was told to resign by the end of Saturday. He has gone. It is joyous. Uh, and it follows the departure of SNP media chief Murray Foote, who left on Friday um, with dignity, I feel, um, you know, resigning on a matter of principle. He was lied to by the executive, by Murray, uh, sorry, by, by um, Murrell. Um, and so he felt his position became untenable. Uh, but of course now, of course, it's um, Peter Murrell's position is untenable and he is no more tend about it. So he's gone. Um, in a statement, Murrell said, responsibility for the NS SNP's responses to media queries on our membership number lies with me as chief executive. Oh, so he's using that excuse, is he? Uh, while there was no intent to mislead, I accept that this has been an outcome. I've therefore decided to confirm my intention to step down as chief executive with immediate effect. I had not planned to confirm this decision until after the leadership election. However, my future has become a distraction from the campaign. I have concluded that I should stand down now so the party can fully focus on Scotland's future. Uh, the election contest is being run by the National Secretary and I have no role in it at any point. He lied. Uh, so there he is. He's gone. Uh, thank heavens for that. Um, and then we can just finally say sayonara, Sturgeon, and uh, mind how you go, Murrell. Um, so off they go into the sunset with their suitcase brimming with £600,000 of unaccounted for cash. Um, but, you know, that's how it goes. Not that I'm suggesting it's the SNP's money, of course. No, no, no. He is the most honest man in politics uh, and smug. And smug. He looks like an oleaginous toad, doesn't he? Anyway, I shall finish there and round off and come up uh, because other videos to make. But that was absolutely breaking news. And it was literally, as I say, on the tail end of me posting my previous one about the calls for his resignation. Uh, fast moving news, eh? Who can keep up with the news cycle? Anyway, I'll come up and finish off. Well, there we go. He's gone. Um, it was just, the timing was a bit unfortunate for me, I must admit. I literally did that video about the cause for his resignation and then he bloody well resigns far too quickly. Uh, but uh, there we go. So I will uh, I will round that off. I will keep an eye, an, an, an eye on this, uh, see what the, any sort of repercussions are, um, to see who's going to likely stand in his stead, uh, even pro tem, before it's a formal announcement. Uh, but we will look at that and we will keep an eye on the story because we cannot let these two off the hook quite so easily. Just because they resign doesn't mean they don't have questions to answer, especially regarding the eight, uh, the £600,000 that seems somehow to have disappeared uh, and is unaccountable, uh, which is rather like the votes, uh, the 6,000 votes that's also 
unaccountable. Uh, so we don't know what's happening with them. Uh, but he is, uh, you know, he's gone. He's saying, uh, of course, he's using the excuse about, oh, he's misleading the numbers, uh, the 30,000 difference. And he's using that as though it's some kind of minor thing. Oh, well, look, yeah, no, we've got the numbers wrong. I'm, oh, I do. I've, I must, you know, I must go because of these numbers. No, no. This has got nothing to do with the fact that you told Murray uh, Foot the wrong numbers. This is nothing to do with those lies. These were completely different ones. These were the lies about the party's finances. These were the lies about your influence in the party, in the vote, in, in the leadership contest. There was so much more, but you refused to address that and you're claiming it is just some minor matter uh, over membership numbers. That's very disingenuous and we know more than you think. Uh, we know that we, we know what you are. We know who you are uh, and we know how deep your influence is in the party. You are like a, a, an evil octopus sitting at the heart of everything. Your tendrils of corruption uh, running through the party in every single direction. Uh, not, of course, that you're corrupt, because as we know, you're the most honest man in Scottish po politics. But now you're yesterday's man. You are gone. You have left the field of sport. And it's only up now to the police to really drive home the message uh, and hopefully take you to court, prosecute you, and then we'll sort of see exactly what kind of couple you are. Uh, but it would, it, you know, from a personal view, I would take great pleasure in seeing the pair of them sitting behind bars for the next 10, 15 years. It won't come to that, I'm sure. If it even goes to court, they might only get a year. But it would be nice to see anyway. Thanks very much for listening. It's a great bit of breaking news. So to all my regular viewers, welcome. Um, do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll keep up with the good news and we will now concentrate more away from these two and back on to the buffoons fighting for leadership to follow her. Uh, so we're not going to let them off the hook either. Uh, we do have a, a Hamza Yousaf story that I'm brewing at the moment. Uh, which will probably come out later today or early tomorrow. But we'll we'll keep the, that one on ice. Anyway, thanks very much. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, share the video. Please share this video. We want this video out everywhere. Everybody needs to know that the old toad has gone. Uh, and until next time, stay safe, stay well, rejoice, let the corks pop, and go buy popcorn because there's going to be a lot more stories. Thank you and goodbye.